but again what are the things that remain same and what goes different we'll see that okay so wages mean remuneration whether by way of salary allowance or otherwise so they are also saying that whatever you call it it is going to be wages expressed in terms of money so it has to be expressed in terms of money if the terms of employment express or implied are fulfilled so the first part remains the same right no matter what you call it it has to be paid in money and you have to fulfill terms of contract whether express or implied what is this including basic pay dearness allowance and retaining allowance that's it so it is not saying whether uh, order passed by court bonus under terms of employment remuneration received under a uh, special scheme of government no simple it is only basic da and retaining and it has excluded a lot of things so if you see bonus payable for any time in court which does not part of remuneration this remains the same house rent supply of water is also the same contribution paid by employer is also the same convenience allowance has specifically uh, gone here any sum paid to defray special expenses so most things here here if you see value of house accommodation was given but specifically hra that employee sometimes take instead of residing in the house that has also been excluded from the definition of wages now the difference if you see remuneration payable under any award or settlement is excluded we saw in the payment of wages act that that's the very first pointer right any remuneration payable under award settlement of parties is included in the definition of wages here it is specifically excluded meaning that employer has to pay me 10k right and let's say the court has asked him to pay 2k so am i going to get 2k above 10k no because it is included in my wages earlier what are they saying now that we have excluded this if a court has passed an order this is something exclusive of what you are entitled to get correct so this is the change that you can see that remuneration payable is excluded uh, this is of course under order of court overtime allowances have also been excluded from wages so if you see your entitlements will ultimately increase right wage is going to be that i want to pay you 10 rupees you come to work do this work and i'll give you a wage if you work overtime okay it's going to be included in the term of wages why why do we want to know the meaning of wages because ultimately we have to calculate the ctc we have to see what is the gratuity entitlement we have to see what is the pf entitlement how do we calculate all of this basis the term wages correct so if you see all of this has been excluded now from the scope any commission payable to the employee is also excluded gratuity of course was not included retrenchment compensation right which was earlier included here if you see this is any sum which is payable by uh, at the time of termination it was included and now this has been excluded from the scope of the act what is this going to do guys that if you see the inclusions have been this ultimately what is going to happen that your basic structure is going to change basis that how you uh, calculate your gratuity is going to change basis that how the employer is going to do pf employee is going to pay, do pf on your wages is going to change right so definition of wages has changed and let me tell you that there is a discussion that they want to have floor wages basically they want to have common wages for common set of uh, people working in a particular organization so industrial employees a different floor wage right so they want to basically have common structure throughout uh, common uh, what do i say workers some people doing x work are entitled to this people doing y are entitled to this and they want to bring uniformity there that's just what is going to happen in terms of definition of wages okay